Hello, hello, hello. My name is Axel. Welcome back to Stone Block 2. How is everyone doing? Hope you are doing well. Having a good old day. I'm doing pretty well, thanks for asking. Not too bad. Now we've been focusing, we've been focusing on all of this stuff. We've done a lot of this in the past few episodes. And today is no different. Uh, it's no different because if we come over here, you can see there's a lot of cows. I've been periodically, um, periodically, I've been like moving them. At, well, not moving them. I've been killing them uh, just to clear out some more space for more cows. But if we look around, you can see one that's maybe a bit different from all the others. Molten Infinity, we have the cow. The cow to end all cows it is it is upon us what do we get what random reward do we get for this <laughs> a cobblestone generator thanks 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 pack um so so um i want i want to see what we can do with this uh cow stall there we go so first of all i'm just going to put it down here because i don't really know what's gonna what's gonna work and what isn't gonna work so a that we do that and you can see next usage two hours 49 minutes it is insane and um, so I want to see what we can do to make this go faster and I've I read somewhere that we can actually use the watch of flowing time I thought we couldn't but let's test it let's do some of the minecraft sciences Let's find out. So, we've got that there like that. That is 248. Yeah, look at that. That is that is not doing anything. That is not doing anything, like even slightly uh to make that to make that better. Now, there is also a time in a bottle from random things. You can see you can see I and I did this earlier on in uh the pack. I used I used this uh for a little bit. Time in a bottle basically works, and it's, I think, fairly simple to... No, that is not that. That is something else. There you go. It's really simple to make. And the more you keep it in your inventory, obviously, the more uh, time you will have on it. And you can see I've got 16 hours. And basically, uh, if I do that, you can see it's going a little bit faster, and it's ta it should have taken, like, 30 seconds off me. Uh, I don't know if we can do it again. It doesn't look like it. But it's gone a little bit, like, can you see, there's like a little star there, a little star at what, on all corners, basically, and it's going a little bit faster, just a little bit faster, and I think that might go for 30 seconds, and it then takes 30 seconds off us here, basically, and um, that's how it works, I think. There we go, and you can see, there you go, you can, yeah, has that done it? Yes, yes, that has taken 30 seconds off, and it's like 30 seconds of, you know, of... Oh, oh, we can do it even more. Oh, look at that. We can do it even more. <gasps> How much is that taking off? Oh, look at that. Oh, and that's the that's the full effect then. So that's shift clicking it, basically. And that's going like a lot faster. And how long did that take up? That took off 15 minutes. About 15 minutes worth of us. Um, so interesting. I sort of want to see how long this lasts. But this is going to be, I think, the path to get in uh, a bucket. A bucket of stuff. A bucket of infinity because is no that's just that I don't think even getting a, a block is a thing but obviously it would help us with this potentially but I still think it's gonna be you know a long a long long road oh and that's done that is done and has that taken off I'm guessing that's taken off 15 minutes maybe yeah I think so so it just takes off the amount of time does it that you give it so obviously i can literally take off i can take off the two hours so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do that now I'm gonna take off the two hours and see see where we arrive at on the other side look at that we've got the tiniest bit 1000 which is a full bucket so we should be able to now just do that yes look at that we've got a molten infinity bucket how nice is that and if we look at that we can see that has taken off quite a lot of the hours and um, and now it's like on 343 because of course it is of course it is so can i can i can i can we just pop that in there i don't know actually 
Uh, we can. We totally can. Oh no, that's that's just put the bucket in. Um, can we can we chuck that in there? Yes, we can. And is is that doing a thing? It looks like it. It looks like it. Then it is going into the casting basin because that's obviously what I want to get a block. Um, that's the that's the sort of thing. Uh, is that going to be a full block? I literally I'm not sure. Or is this going to be an ingot's worth? I sort of don't actually know. I feel it it can't be a a block, but maybe it is. The bar's still going up. It's still going up. And actually, we could have just checked by doing having a look at that. But that seems to be doing a thing still. Um. Oh. There we go. I should probably have got rid of that. But that seems to be blocking. This seems to be blocking. Oh no, has it stopped? Has it stopped like right near the, the top? Oh, I think it has. I think it totally has. Okay, go, go away, go away that. Have you just stopped right near the top? Man. Right, let's also get rid of you. That doesn't need to be there. So we are so close to a block of infinity, but not quite. Is that is that what we're saying? This is sad times. I have my second bucket and it does take it does take more than one bucket basically. So I put it back in here and you can see I've got six ingots worth. So it's a, a bit of a random number. But if we do that, we can now see we've got one block, four ingots, eight nuggets. Because, because of course we do. So, um, oh, I've not got a faucet there. Let's get one. Let's get one. There it is. There it is. And you can see in my inventory, I've been doing some other stuff. But let's get ourselves an infinity block, which is fairly exciting. Like, let's, you know, it is, it is exciting. It's exciting times. There we go. Oh, oh man, this is so slow. Everything's so slow about this whole infinity stuff. So what I've been doing whilst we've been waiting is getting some mechanism uh, stuff ready because we need an HDP uh, sheet. Well, we need several. Uh, and they are made like this. So that is made like that. That is made like that. Enrichment chamber. Ah, okay. Ooh, that's quite good. I don't think I realised you could do that. That's quite nice. So you can see... Um, HDP pellet is made in a PLC, a pressurized reaction chamber from liquid ethylene, oxygen, and substrate. So how do you get substrate? Well, you get it from a pressurized reaction chamber with water, hydrogen, and biofuel. Biofuel you get from crushing. Cool. Hydrogen, how do you get? You need an electrolytic separator. You put in water, and you get hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, so if you go back one, how do we get ethylene? Well, you get that, uh, is it, is it this? Yes, you get that from water and hydrogen and biofuel. So like, there's a whole, you know, there's a whole like mess of things that you need to go through in order to get this. And oxygen you got from the electrolytic separator. <sighs> so many things. Oh, have we got it? We have. Oh yeah, look at that. Infinity block, which is still like, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Like, you can see, that's a lot of stuff, but it's still not, like, as much as we need. There we go. We learned that. That is 500 and that. Let's see how many. We can only get, look at that, we can still only get 13 infinity ingots. Like, oh, we've got, we've got an escapee. What are you? Nothing exciting by the looks of it. No. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, so, we're, we're getting there, but still very, very slowly. Like, Super slowly, in fact. Uh, I'm hoping to get at least another, you know, another infinity cow because obviously this is running out. I can't keep doing this. And even the fact that I have to keep doing this is quite painful. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up all of this stuff to get the HDP pellets. And then I'll sort of show you how to do it because it's a lot of faffy stuff. I did it in stone block one. Hopefully I can just about remember how to do it now. So I've got stuff set up and for whatever reason, um, the speed upgrade for mechanism is EMC'd, but none of the others are, uh, which I think is a little odd, but f you know, whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter to us. Oh, we can get that meant. Well, let's just fill up. There we go. So I've got it set up over here. 
over here, nice and far away, and you can oh man, it's such, everything, everything is so, <laughs> so loud, and that's why you want muffling very much to be one of the first things you put in here, and this is sort of how it works, and it will tell you what it's, what, what is supported, um, there we go, all of those, speed, and energy, of course, let's actually start adding muffling to everything, because muffle, just muffle everything, please. Oh, everything is so loud. And and you, there we go. Oh, that that will be a lot better. Um, so we've got muffling. We've not got speed. Oh, look at that. Everything's so much quieter now. Oh, oh, that's nice. That is so nice. Uh, yeah, whatever that. <laughs> So many machines to do a few things, and I'll, I'll I'll sort of walk you through it. There you go. You can see we we are getting the HDP pellets now. These it seems can be put in a, an enrichment chamber to make even more HDPE sheets. So I might actually do that. That might actually be worth it. Uh, that's not doing anything right now. Um, got speed, energy. There we go. Ah, so the crusher needs more stuff. So you can basically put almost anything in here. Uh, and it will work. Speed, uh, energy upgrade. There we go. So a lot of speed upgrades need to happen now. There we go. That's speed U. Speed U is done. No, that has done not speed. There we go. And I'm guessing, are you the last one? Are you the last one that needs a bit of speed? Maybe. That is definitely speedy. That is speedy. You are, by looks of it, speedy, yeah? Everything is speedy. Okay, I must have gotten too many. Aces, right. So, look at this, this mess. So, how this works, and this is a little bit irritating because you you have to use the pressurized tubes for mechanism because I think they're the only one that, that have gases. So you start off with a crusher and you basically put in anything to make bio biofuel. There you go. Uh, and then you need a sink and you need water to go in to the pressurized reaction chamber and you need one of these pumping water in basically is that has mm, is that pumping water in i feel like it might not be even though it should be insert oh there we go okay fine that is now doing a thing. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, that is definitely doing a thing. So we have the electrolytic separator. Pump water in. You get hydrogen and oxygen, both of which you need. And uh, the hydrogen is going straight in to the other pressurized reaction chamber, which is making ethylene, the gas. So from there, that gas goes into the rotary condensator. Uh, you can see this is all empty now, but it does work, and it makes that ethylene into liquid ethylene, which then goes into another pressurized reaction chamber with the oxygen you made from that initial electrolytic separator all the way around here to make an HDPE pellet. And then obviously you need to get the substrate from this one into here. So why is this one not doing anything? Oh, it's because, again, that is out of stuff. Phew. Right, so let's have a look at an enrichment chamber, uh, and if we can just add this into the mix, enrichment, there we go, yes we can, fairly immediately, uh, let's put you, let's put you there, why not, why not, there we go, all of that, network, now with mechanism, What's weird about it, what's slightly strange, is unlike a lot of things like thermal and ender IO, it has, because it has liquid items and gas, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. And you can see there's transporter config and side config. Now, the side configs is what you'll be needing to mess around with a lot. And basically, there is an energy one. There you go. There is a fluid one. And there is a gas one, okay? And red is input, blue is output. That's sort of what you need. And then if you make a configurator, if you shift click, you'll be able to set it to either push, which is that, or pull, which is a that, okay? And that's sort of how you get all of this to do the required things, right? Let's get some rotten flesh and put that in there. For now, again, 
Oh, it's so quiet. It's so quiet. Now, you, if you go in there, are you basically going to do that? Let's put a speed upgrade in. And make loads. Yes, yes, you are. Excellent, excellent stuff. So that can go there. Uh, you can go that. Uh, extract. Uh, insert. And then, for here, we need... Basically, this is items. Yes, this needs to be output. And that is... Is that doing a thing? Not yet. Uh, is that the... That? I think that is doing a thing. Yes, it looks like it. Why is this not doing a thing? Oh, because of the oxygen. I'm guessing... Uh, I don't know why this isn't doing a thing. Why is this not being faster? <laughs> we have got a fair amount of HDP sheets now. Uh, oh, is it? Hang on. This is EMC now. This is. Has that changed? <gasps> All of that. And we can now. Oh, we can now just do that. Look at that. Well. We've done a lot of stuff there, possibly not really need... Well, we need it to do at least all of that once. That is quite nice, so at least that is done. And we don't really have to worry about any of this, because this is a bit of a palaver to set up, really. Um, it's quite a thing. And if you ever are interested in doing mechanization, because you can, I think you can do, like, ore quintupling with mechanization you'll need these types of machines to do that with so to finish off i thought we'd do the rest of draconic that we can do and i know we can obviously make a mob grinder um i think i actually made one early on there we go got a bit of that a bit of that there we go mob grinder that should finish off that i've made a wyvern um a wyvern flux capacitor i need to make a draconic one which oh it's just that that what's oh and that needs to go in the middle fine there we go. Bam. That is done. <laughs> you can see that turned off for a second then, as I'm guessing it is charging this. Yeah, there we go. Um, so that is those. Where are we? There we go. So that one done. Epic bacon, thanks. That. And that. There we go. Ooh, that's quite nice. So we basically just have the chaos ones, which we're nowhere near getting yet. And right-click a vanilla mob spawner with any call to get a stabilized one. Now, I don't know how we can get, oh, really though, I'm just gonna do that for a second. Just, just please, just charge it up and be done with it. Come on, this is just silly. Is the chaos, if any of these, oh yeah, it is. Oh, interesting, so the chaos shard is actually EMC, so we only need to get one of those, and it's actually not that, it's actually not that crazy either. Um, Four million seems <laughs> seems relatively cheap um, in comparison to a lot of other things, of course. How are we meant to get a broken spawner? I'm sort of. I don't. I don't really know. Um, Stabilize mob spawner. Yeah. I don't. How are we meant to do this? Because we don't have those in the pack. I am confused. I might need to look into this because I have literally no idea. So, it looks like we can maybe make them. Uh, which is interesting. A mob spawner itself. And we need an egg. Let's get one egg. There we go. Bam, bam. Put that in there. Can we just make one? That, yeah, we can. We can. So can we just do that and then that? Yes, we can. How, what, what a strange little thing that we can do. Well, I, well, I never, well, I never. So we've got that one. Uh, what do we get? Basic flux storage. Of course we do. So the only thing, obtain the chaos child by killing the chaos chicken. And then what? We've got a chaotic core as well. How do we make the chaotic core? Sort of vaguely intrigued. Chaotic, chaotic core. Um, not that hard. Not that hard. I'm sort of interested in almost attempting to kill the Chaos Chicken. That's the only thing we need from here. What do we need? Spawn by dropping a dragon egg on a ring of obsidian with a diamond block in the middle. Use the chicken stick to destroy the chicken's shield. So I know 
I know it's quite hard uh, and you need basically like things like this flux capacitors to keep your shields intact. Um, I am tempted. I am tempted. I would need to soul bound all of my things. And this is probably going to be a, a longer episode than usual because we will need like maybe that. Yeah. Draconic sword. That would be a nice thing to have. Let me get some stuff together. So I think we're not going to get round to the the uh, the chaos chicken today which is a shame uh, i am making basically and it's because i've got lost in ender io as as ever with this i need more organic there we go so brown let's get some of that there we go organic black dye we should have enough of now okay so i've been making all of this stuff and um, basically making all of this stuff can i now do that yes i can few okay so we come around here now and have i got my induction smelter yes there we go i don't know what all that was doing there we go make all of that go back and do your thing in there there we go and you and you and you there we go lovely um there we go there we go we've got the soul machine chassis now so this is basically to make soul bound um so that I've got that. Yes, all of that. Yes. Whew. Okay. So, in order to make Soulbound the um, the enchantment, so there's there's three different, well, two different types really. There's the the cough core, um, which is like the the thermal series, which isn't as good as the Ender IO one. You can see prevents items being lost on death, which is pretty great. So you need a book and quill. Not too bad. Lapis and an ender crystal. And you can see that is EMC, so we just need one. Uh, and you make that with uh, a soul vial and a vibrant crystal, which I think. Have we got one vibrant? No. Have we got any here? Vibrant? Ah. I thought we did. Maybe we didn't. That shouldn't be hard to do, though. There we go. That that there we go there we go so we need we need an enderman in a soul vial so let us go to the end and i think that is this one uh let's put that on there as well there we go i just need one thank you and we're back in the room there we go so 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 don't need that i just need you and you let's get you here as well let's just plonk you down here for a second this isn't really going to stay here but just so it's here and you can see now why oh and a capacitor uh why i'm not doing the fight now i just think it's a, a little bit silly oh can shall we put that in there just in case there we go look at that lovely stuff put you in there we go bam so um that and that and use, yes, use my XP by all means. Please and thank you. There we go. Empty soul vial and ender crystal. Lovely stuff. So we can put that in there now. And do that. Get ourselves a stack. So, have I got an enchanter? I cannot remember. Uh, and no nope. Enchanter? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Have I got a book and quill? Book. No, I do not. Have Is the one in here? No, there is not. Okay, let's make ourselves one quick. Can we just do... No, apparently not. There we go. Book. Book and quill. There we go. Let's dump you in there. Oh, so much better. Right. Let's make a few of those. And we need lapis. And that is basically it. So now... We can do that. Oh, look, that's even got some stuff in. So that can go in there, that can go in there. And we can get ourselves um, some of these bad boys. And then if we get our anvil, anvil, whichever one, whichever one, we can now basically soul bound all of these are, are you kidding me is this not working is this not working with draconic stuff um okay that oh is it because i've got no xp uh which shouldn't be a problem really 
Is it because I've got no XP? If it if it is, then we good. Yes, okay. Oh dear, it's all going dark. Uh, there we go. So that is now soulbound. Yes. Whoa, put it on again. Put it on again. Is this now working? No. Why is that not working with that? How weird. So apparently we'll lose our sword, but not, but not our uh, our armor, which is I suppose something. Um, you know, it's a bit strange though. I don't really understand how that works. There we go, and that one. There we go. So that you and you and all of these are now soul bound. As is, I think. Oh no, is that? Have I got anything that is soul bound? What else can we not soul bind? So can't do the pick. Wireless crafting terminal can't do flux magnet. Ooh, flux magnet, we can, which is, you know, a bit useless. But that is a bit of a shame. We used to be able to do everything, uh, and that one is actually a really good one to do. Uh, mainly because you always want to get back home. So let's do that one as well. There we go. Okay, well, that's probably going to be it today. Um, that's a bit of a weird ending, but we are ready, I think, to take on the Chaos Chicken. I think we might as well, um, because getting the Infinity stuff is going to take us a while yet left to do. I'm going to do some AFK as well. So thank you all for the continued watching of this series. If you liked it and enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe. That would be grand. Plenty of other stuff going on on the channel as well. I've been Hector, this has been Stoneblock, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>